Guess what? Like, just to clear up something, I get um, uh, that's his brother's money. One thing about my brother, let me clarify this: he will not invest in no party. That's not his. That's not his thing. Secondly, yeah, I took. You know what I'm when I lost, I took hella losses. You know, big losses. And it, it was to the point where I punned Jerry. Hey, you took clothes to play those closet. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's real. It's real shit. Like, I I'm used to struggling. People that know me, you know, people always try to question my street credibility. Or oh, did he do this? Or do he have this? You know, several people that came to me and like, why well, such and such asked me, did you really sell weed or did you actually sell dope? Or are you actually a good nigga? Like, what does what does that matter to you? Why are you questioning my street credibility when I'm, when I really fuck with all the bosses? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't know. Middle, when it came to that, I was a middle man, I was my own man. Had everything from Athens to Augusta on lock by myself. So, and no, nobody, you know, didn't, people that knew me, knew what I was doing, but it's, it's the new people that's coming up and wondering like, how did Tony get his start or where he get his money from? So, it's nice, we gross, we do good. It's nice, we do terrible, but it's the business. So have you struggled lately, or is everything going good? Um, right? Lately, if you consider eight months ago, probably like six, eight months ago, yeah. But from then, I learned like this ain't what I want to do. Like I had a spending habit, you know what I'm saying? So I almost completely cut that out. So now I'm almost back to where I need to be. You know what I'm saying? You know, everything's looking good. I, I can't say nothing negative about. Finances right now. It's up, you know, everything's on up, going on up and up. Yeah, I don't think you're struggling financially. Yes. I see that you bring in 900,000 people in the club. You charge the 10, 15 dollars, then VIP 40, 50 dollars. I don't think you're struggling. And a lot of these guys around here don't think you're struggling. It's just like in the Athens, if one club doing good, the next one is not. So you taking money, they feel like you taking money out of their pocket. Have you ever been, or has anybody ever tried to hurt you because they think that you financially doing better? First of all, if, if people are like so street, if, if they're street savvy or business savvy, you would learn in business, don't spend your money, spend your investors' money. Right. First of all, like dealing with a club owner, he would front the money and he just want to make his money back the way he put for the deposit and we have the deposit. Like, who in their right mind wouldn't would turn it down? You know, if, if we lose, you know, we lose, but we don't lose. The investor already know what he's getting into. You feel me? So, people are like, oh, then they show them. Anytime you see one of my persons at the door, best believe I'm getting paid. I'm not there just to make a good deal. I'm not there just to make friends. And anybody can vouch for that. Anybody, like, anybody from Team Takeover can vouch for that. Like, we like that's that's what we do. Like, if I got anybody else want to invest, shoot, you know, that's just how it goes. Like, so everything profit that goes in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. So to go back to the other question, like, have you ever had anybody that, or you heard that tried to hurt you mm -hmm. because they feel like you're taking money out of their pocket? Well, this one incident, I'm not gonna say no names because it's not a. It's more. It's eighty percent truth. But um, you know, I had a couple words with a club owner, or whatever. So this guy came to me like, "Yeah, man, you know, you moving too fast, man. There's a couple of people, you know, don't like you. So you know, I'm not paying. I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. So I see this other guy that was cool with the club owners, like, dude, you need to watch yourself because he said you're gonna try to get somebody to hurt you. And I'm like, it's not making no sense. So. The guy, the first guy I talked to, they were telling me to cool down. He was like, "No, he just went to jail for murdering two people." But I'm assuming the club owner didn't know that we were cool. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I sit back and to like, "Damn!" So could have been that guy. He tried to, you know, get to do something to me. Like, cause everybody knows I don't hang nobody. I'm by myself every single day. Like Twitter, via Twitter, Facebook, you know where I'm at. 
So you know I'm not going to flex about running for somebody to hire somebody. So it just like when I experienced that, I was like, okay, shit's serious now. But I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing. Even though your life could be in danger, you, you got guys that you know. I've seen some clubs closed. I've seen some clubs struggle because you actually had a good that usually if one club doing good that's it you know so even though your life has been in danger and you know that these other guys feel like they're not eating because you eat you don't think you should stop or give them a benefit of making the money that night okay check this out we at taco mac right and applebee's across the street if applebee's make a million dollars and taco mac ain't making no money you think applebee's gonna stop doing business because taco mac ain't making no money Hell no, absolutely not. That's totally not. Nobody's not gonna do that. I mean, it, it's, it's a, it's like, it's a business. It's a business, and with businesses struggling now, you know, everybody's trying to eat. Which you know, I don't point the finger, blame nobody when I take losses. I don't go ranting, raving. I mean, why? Because I mean, it's business, and I've took losses before. Maybe not much as a club owner, but you know. So, do you think it's best for you to? For club owners just to work with you, you know what I'm saying? Like I know you had club owners that you uh, had animosity with, and then you back working with them again. Um, actually, I think when you promote it now, then you have animosity with that club owner. And then I, honestly, with I've had animosity with probably every club that Adams Clark runs. But at the end of the day, you know, I went back and did business with all of them. And do I trust all of them? No, I mean, it's the business, like. In order to be successful, you gotta you gotta work with the snakes. Yeah, I don't I don't mind working with the snakes. You know what I'm saying? But to them, they feel like you a snake. You know, it's some club owners say you cut. You know, you cut. Of course, but why do business? Why turn around and do business with me if I'm cutthroat? As we had all these problems, you gotta point the finger at somebody. Why not point the finger at the guy that's being successful? If I'm such a snake, step on people's toes. I would stop being I would stop being successful a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, that right there, that they like that's that's BS to me, period. So I'm like So, that. you know, at the end of the night night when y'all collect the money, you know, it's been said that you take some of the money or they actually felt like you made more at the door. You feel like they made more and they took money. How is that part of the business? Each time you have to deal with at the end of the night, do you think that a lot of that animosity because people feel like the other person taking money? Well, first of all, I don't even work the door. I host the party. You know that everybody knows that. So whatever going on at the door, I'm pretty sure I've been stuck a lot of times, and I'm probably just stuck a lot of one times. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's at the end of the day, it's business. So I mean, I suck again. Suck it up and keep it moving. You gonna work with you or not? Okay. It's, it's just up to me if I'm gonna be careful next time around. Really, I, I understand. So, really, what I really want to ask you about is this most recent one. Yeah. There, there has been um, someone who has stated that they sent a text. But it said T, right? It, it said T. Let me get to it. It okay. said that a text was sent that he's messing with a guy, he's a gay guy, and he's messing with another guy. He sent the guy a text. And the guy's name started with T, and I think they put it on Facebook. They never did say your name, but they said the guy name started with T, but you responded. No, I didn't reply. You didn't reply. No. Okay. Not at all. I just I got a phone. So did you not go over somebody's house, a girl house, and say, "Why are you spreading these lies about me?" No, I didn't, I, I didn't go to nobody's house. Not at all. See, again, that's when you need to come to the horse's mouth. First of all, it started like this. When I was doing parties at the library, this group of like 18, 19 year olds, they come to the club deep, they just graduated. So, you know, Polo Entertainment has a promo team. Now, Jabri has a promo team. Deadlock has a promo team. I'm the only person out there really just doing it alone. So I'm like, if I, if I fuck with them, you know, cute little girls, people don't go to where the crowd is. Cause you gotta think, with that little crowd right there, the just graduated crowd, people are gonna come. And so the person I ended up meeting everybody through was a person they said after you know after the promote like six months, uh Tony B, you know he gay? Guess what? At the end of the day, I'm getting paid. Second of all, I'm not gonna be judgmental to somebody that 
has not tried me, you know, what you do in your time is what you do in your time. I mean, and it didn't bother me at first until my brother, even, my brother asked me about it. Like, come on, like, I like, I like pussy. I want to fuck somebody in the ass. I fuck a female, period. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of women I can call. So what happened was another promoter asked me, like, dude, you know, oh, such and such gay? Nah, I ain't thinking nothing about it. So many people aren't successful is because they are, they are judging who they work with or who work for them. You think Interscope Records, um, job records don't have somebody in their office that's, that's not right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be freeing nobody because they're one way. And the only people that really believe, people, I'm pretty sure people don't believe it. They're only doing that because I think it's me and like, do you think they're trying to spread the rumor yeah, I mean, to bother you to so you can leave actors or no, stop doing that's what you're doing or you know because I mean that's to a man that's yeah. deep for you to say I'm fucking another guy that's deep correct so you know that to me some people cannot take that it'll break them down and be like look I'm finna go and, and get up out of here no, I'm not I'm still there doing my party I'm still there recording every week so at the end of the day people it, even whoever made the lie and said it was lying people are still gonna believe or want to believe that, oh, he did that, you know, and they never said, Tony B, they just assumed just because somebody gay promotes with me, and the world put it out was upset about it, about something, so some dudes made a diss song, so you gotta think, Johnny Tell sued Tony B gay, because such and such in the group, Sue was going to tell somebody else three months later, and then, you know how many stories done got out of that? You know, like at the end of the day, if, if you're gay and you want and you want to work for infamous entertainment and you and you're beneficial and you, whatever you got going on in your personal life is not in my business, it's cool. I like to say I'm not. Who am I to judge somebody? I'm not judgmental on anybody. So, you know, big ups to the guy if he is. But at the end of the day, I would never cross that line. Like I, said, I get too much pussy. I want to fuck somebody in the ass. I fuck a girl in the ass. I got nigga wives out there. I got nigga girlfriends out there. But come on, like clearly everybody knows this. You got somebody wife? Man, come on, this this is not a game. And, and these same people, these are some of the same people that's hoping and piggybacking off of that. I'm like, come on, dude, like that 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 shit don't even sound right. Tony B. Gay, no, not at fucking all. And you know, I want you know it. it once my brother asked me, I want to just go. Who said what? Everybody's like, oh, who 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 said? It? But nobody's never. Came back to me and gave me no name. So, and if, and if they say something, I go ask them. And my thing is, I can't go around asking everybody. Like, just let it go. So, this is the time that I'm going to address so you it. you can say right now, you didn't send a text to a gay guy. I put on my dad, on your phone, if somebody put out, they would show, you know, Tony B sent a text to absolutely, a gay Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Show me. Period. Nobody can do that. Not on God, green earth, they can do that. Period. Like, you know me, like, everybody that knows, you know, like, bro, we don't believe that shit. Don't believe that. Believe that for what? Come on, man. That shit, that's a desperate act of somebody trying to get attention. And at the end of the day, the same guys that I fuck with still dap me up, still kicking it with me, still come fuck with me, still blowing it down with me. Like, that shit, it's just like trying to, you know, I can explain myself to them blue in the face. But people are gonna believe what they want to believe. I mean, two things somebody don't have to do: question my sexuality and question my street credibility. Period. Thoroughbred. And, and, and that's the end of that. Period. So is that what made you go ahead and do the exclusive interview? Did no, you, I really like. Did you really just want to put it on? A, did the rumors bother you so bad that you feel like I need to do this interview? I need to let people know Tony B or what's going on with the rumors or. You know I mean, what, I'm saying? what, what made you want to do finally do this? Because you you said a lot of stuff through Twitter back and forth with people or whatever. Right. You did the stuff in the club and put them out on the mic. What made you really want to just put it out on the forefront and do the interview? I mean, like I said, not even about, about the little the little gay allegations. Just like I deal with so much bullshit, like day in and day out. So instead of me keep going back and forth to you and you and you and you, it's 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 sense. It's, it's not. I'm not gaining no rank from that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm putting it out like from the money situations to the club situation to the gay situation to the female situations. 
to whatever you want to know. You know what I'm saying? This is it. In a nutshell. So where do you go from here? You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm, I'm winning. I'm winning. Like, if you got to understand, like, people that know me and support me, that shit's not bothering me.